Hello and good morning. It's actually like the earliest that I've ever filmed anything. I feel like you can see it in my face. You know what, that's okay. We have little to no time lately. And so I'm just trying to squeeze this in in a little moment of silence. Josh took the girls outside. So I thought I would take you guys on a little trip with me today over to Elgin, Nebraska. Elgin, Nebraska is where my stepmom's parents live. As I've mentioned before, they so graciously offered us their vintage and antique bedroom sets. The trip is about three hours away. So Josh and I had to go pick up a trailer and go pick up these beautiful pieces and visit them for a little bit. So my stepmom's mom, Joyce. She loves surfing just as much as I do. And there's a little spot called the Bargain Box in their town. She really wanted to take me there, which I was so happy with because the prices were amazing. I just figured I would take you along with us on a little trip. And then afterwards, I'll show you some of the stuff I got. So let's go on a trip. Good morning from the Hoffman car. So guys. <laughs> We just picked up a trailer behind us. Here's the girls. You guys want to say hi? Hi. Our car is disgusting because... Yeah, we just washed it. Like, we almost washed it yesterday. <laughs> it's not about it being washed. It's that it's crazy messy in here. We just have not had a chance to even do anything since the whole move. Uh -huh. But... We didn't even clean it. We didn't even clean it. <laughs> but today is an exciting day. We are going to Elgin, Nebraska to pick up a bunch of antique bedroom furniture. We just picked up the trailer and got gas, which is insanely expensive. And now we are about to drive three hours. These are both pretty I'm like, okay. <laughs> So we just got done with the bargain box and found some good stuff. Josh found a terrifying saw and some super cool hats. <laughs> what do you think? All of the things that I like. Yes. Hats, 
and saws. We went Where outside and now it's like pouring rain. So we've got a three hour drive. We're heading out. Yeah, you can see I'm soaked. <laughs> okay, so our trip actually turned out like really crazy. We had a super smooth drive there. Everything was great. But on the way home, we ran into like a hailstorm. There was so much thick fog over the fields that it was hard to see while driving. Like we could hardly see the car in front of us. It was so weird. It was like the middle of the day. And then we actually got stuck out on the highway. Apparently there was a semi that had jackknifed in the middle of the roads. Everybody was out of their cars, walking around the street, trying to figure out what to do. We almost ran out of gas. We had the wheel well fall off of the truck trailer connected to our car. It was like dangling. It was like literally, it was like vacation. <laughs> no, it was fine. But the whole trip itself was, it was very interesting. I actually did not document most of it because it was a little bit stressful, but we are home safe and the trailer has been returned. <laughs> we got this furniture from the help of our wonderful neighbor up to the bedrooms and everything is finally somewhat put away. I can't guarantee that when I show you guys the girls' rooms that they're gonna be clean because yes, we are still very much in the middle of unpacking and things are crazy. If I showed you our room right now, it's a disaster. Actually, I'll probably show you in the next video because I'm gonna try to get this room put together and hopefully I can take y'all with me. I think the thing that I was the most excited about was these pretty little cups. They're called Buffalo China and they're super thick. I don't know if you guys can see, maybe you can even just tell just by the pattern along the ridge that they're super heavy duty. And as you can see, a set was $1.50. Each one, there was two of them there, came with the cup and then the saucer to go along with it. So it looks like they're kind of this Asian pattern, um, which I'm not always huge on Asian design, but for these, I actually thought it was very pretty. I usually like the more like American kind of homestead landscape type things, but I thought that these were so nice. And again, the thickness, they're super heavy and just really nice. So if anybody knows anything about Buffalo China, the cups say F11 and the saucers say F12 on them. So I don't know if these are valuable or not. Probably not, but I just thought they were really pretty. Each one of those plates also came with these little stands too, which is kind of nice. These are nothing special, but they're just little plastic ones, but you know, it's, it is nice to have these. Rosie also found this pretty little dish for 25 cents. I don't know what this glaze is on here, but it's almost kind of like a bluish color. It was really pretty. And so she wants to keep this in her room for Lord knows what. She is a decorating queen. And so she loves to have stuff like this just to create her little, I call them like her vignettes or her still lifes that she makes all around the house. You guys knew that I was gonna pick this up. I finally found a brass candlestick holder. This one was $1.50 and this is exactly what I was looking for. I know that I showed you guys that I got a green one a little while back, but I said in the video that I was looking for just an all brass one. So I was happy to find this, but there was also this other one that was there that has, um, I don't know what this is called. Is this like mother of pearl possibly or, I feel like I saw somewhere else that it was called something different, uh, but this one was $1 as well. So I'm excited to be able to use this in my decor. I did pick up this little milk glass lamp. Um, I don't know if it's real milk glass or what, but I think my mother-in-law said that if you can see a seam, it's not like an original, like super old school milk glass. But we've been putting this up in Ruby's room. She's been using it up there. It's cute, she likes it. Um, the only thing is that it's like a little bit finicky as, as far as turning it on, but I feel like everything in our house is a little bit finicky in some way and we just work around it. So another thing that I've been looking for has been shoe stretchers. These I got for a dollar, I think it was a dollar for the both. And I tried them on a pair of leather shoes that I just got that I love so much, but they're like slightly too small. And these did not work for me very well. But I also picked up this shoe stretcher and this one was $1.50. I decided to get both because I figured if one didn't work for me, I would like to try the other one. I was hoping for two like this, but there was only one available. This one does seem to be the one that works a little bit better for stretching out the shoes in the way that I would like. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it kind of like stretches out the width too. Like I feel like maybe these are built for people with wider feet than mine, when in reality, I need more of the length at the pointed part of the toe than I do actually like width throughout the whole body of the shoe. Anyway, I've been using this for a couple weeks now, trying to stretch those suckers out. All right, and lastly, I did pick up this my pillow. We love these in our house. This is like basically the only pillow that I ever want to sleep with. 
And luckily they are washable. So we just washed this little baby up, brought it right to bed. So I think that this was $5. It was a little bit more expensive for this shop. Um, but as you can see, the prices were just like amazing. Like that little lamp was $2, I believe. Honestly, we bought a bunch of stuff and even Josh bought a few things. He bought those like dorky hats that he tried on and he bought this like giant horrific saw, like a hand saw that was all rusted. I don't know what he was thinking, but um, yeah, it's terrifying. So um, if you guys want, let's go take a look upstairs and I will show you the girls' bedroom furniture. All right, and here we are. This is how far we've come with the girls' room. Everything is like extremely dusty right now. We've been having some floors sanded and refinished and everything, so our whole house is covered in dust. But here is the furniture that used to be in my stepmom's bedroom. Super cute, not this piece. This piece I wound up getting on Marketplace earlier this year, but I thought that it fit nicely with the pieces that we have since there was no nightstand that came along with this set. So we have always had this piece in the girls' room before. I've got like a little piece of Phoenix put under there because we lost a wheel in the move. As you can see, all the dust on the floor. Uh, but I'm so excited now to be able to have this beautiful bed set and the vanity and everything that goes with it. These chairs came with the house. This chair doesn't quite fit this set but there's another one that fits the other set really well and i like that it just fits so nicely underneath there so here's rosie's room so far and then you come in here and we have ruby's room this set is a little bit more vintage not so much antique but i thought that it was really cool too it had these dressers with the drawers that open behind these doors and so this set came with this pretty dresser piece she also gave us this little nightstand even though it doesn't necessarily match the rest of the room and then this bed and then this massive mirror over here which is really nice which i left my coffee over here so i thought you guys would want to take a look at the pieces that we got Here's what I was talking about. This chair, I feel like goes really nicely with this set. I feel like it's a little bit more 70s, but in a really nice, subtle way. And then there's a the new lamp that we got set up for Ruby. So anyway, hope you guys like it. And I'm excited to be able to start putting stuff up on the walls and really get some cute little decorations in here. Okay, so I actually thought I would give you guys a little idea of Rosie's little still lifes or vignettes. This is something that she set up. And then here is our kitchen floor right now, which is disgusting. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today. Again, I'm sorry for having these like sporadic videos. I feel like I am in a crazy season of life. Again, with our floors being finished. Oh, y'all, it's so disgusting in there right now. We are just being uprooted constantly because of like sanding and staining and varnishes and fumes and dust and just everything. So it's like we'll be in our home for a couple days and then we'll have to pack up and be out of the house for a few days. We also went and had some family time in Springfield. So we've been there for the past week or so. So it's been a little bit difficult to film videos, but I'll just get them out as I can get them out. And I hope you guys stay along with me for the trip. So anyway, y'all, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.